Hi, today we're going to show you the unboxing of a Dantec 4 amp 4 output power supply typically used for CCTV installations. The box comes, well the power supply comes in a cardboard box and open. On the front it tells you the spec for the power supply. So it is a 4 amp total power supply and it gives you four individual outputs rated at 1 amp each. So well we'll just open that now. We open it to see what it looks like. The box itself is a metal box. Tells you what voltage it uses on the front, and it's just got two screws on the top there to take the lid off. So I'm just going to use a small screwdriver and open it up. When we open the lid, it has an earth strap connected to the lid, just there. So I'll just disconnect that. And then inside, you just get a list of alternate power supplies that they do. You also get given a 20 mil open grommet, you get a 20 mil compression wand and some plugs and screws with it to actually fasten it to the wall. Inside we have your mains terminal which has got a pull out fuse there. Which comes with a 3 amp fuse already in and then it gives us your four individually fused outputs there so you've got output one, output two, output three and output four. Again just in case you ever forget what is actually what is the power supply it actually has the same label that it did on the box just inside there so if you ever come back at a later date you know exactly what power supply it is and just inside that metal lid is where your actual power supply sits just underneath here we've got cable entries at this end which has got two 20mm knockouts you can just use some cutters or a screwdriver and knock them out, they come out quite easily. And then on the other side we have two knockouts, again exactly the same. There are some small holes in the back, which are here and here, which I guess you could use to bring some small cables through. Um, <clears throat> there's no real markings on the back and typically this would be used for powering cameras, outside detectors or just generally anything that needs a 12 volt DC power supply. I hope that was of use to you, thanks.